Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And I am here today with another game in my Phillies 2020 imagined season. We are moving briskly along, and I believe we are uh, at game 32 now. So we'll take a look at the standings. We're going into a series with the Colorado Rockies. I have played a two-game series against Texas since the last video went up. I've played a two-game series against Texas, a three-game series against the Cubs, and a three-game series against San Francisco. Now, I didn't uh, put the um, uh, I didn't put any of the games from the Texas series up, and it's too bad because one of those was a wild game. Um, and I didn't put any of the games from the Cubs or um, I didn't record any of the games from the Cubs series or the San Francisco series because we will play them again and I will draw from uh, you know a later series in the season. We probably won't play Texas again so I kind of dropped the ball on that because I was trying to get at least one video um, from, you know, post one video from every series against every team. So that isn't going to happen uh, because of the uh, fact that I missed the te one of the Texas games. But we will take a look at the standings. So we go to Imagine here. Um, oh, no, that's a schedule. We don't want the schedule. Let's go to League Stats. Okay, so let me put this over here a little bit. And so you can see, here are the standings right now. We are the worst team in the league. Now, if you watched, you know, Game 20's video, we, we weren't doing well at that point, and we're still not doing well. Now, we're doing a little better. The offense is getting a little better. Um, but we're still the worst team in the league. Now, we're only the worst team in the league by... Uh, if you look, uh, the Boston Red Sox are 10 and 23. We're 9 and 22. So we're only like a half game worse than Boston. But um, you know, it, it's still not a good situation. <laughs> That's really what I'm trying to get at. So anyway, we're 9 and 22, um, and uh, we'll take a look at some of the the team statistics here. And there will be a game, so, you know, stay tuned for that. I'm not going to just sit here and talk about, you know, the Phillies and show you what the Phillies are doing. I'm also going to play uh, the first game of the Colorado series coming up. So there you go, 9-22, and 3-7 at home, 6-15 and 15 on the road. None of this is good. One-run games were 2-10. and 10. So that's, that's a big problem that we're having obviously. Go to uh, primary stats, and here's the batting averages. Now, I want to point out Jay Bruce. Jay Bruce is having one hell of a year. Unbelievable the roles I'm getting with Jay Bruce. He is hitting 330, and in 88 at-bats, he has eight home runs, three triples. Can you imagine Jay Bruce with even one triple? Yeah, I can't. So, and then six doubles. And he has tw he leads the team in RBIs with 20. So I mean that guy is he's on fire. Um, of course, you know Harper's having a good year, but you would expect that he's hitting 308 um, with five home runs. McCutcheon is he's doing well in the home run extra base hit department. Seven homers, five doubles, but he's only hitting 265. Um, and so, anyway, you can take a look at these guys, the you know, the batting averages and everything. But we're hitting 245 as a team, and that is part of the problem. Um, and also, I want to point out on the pitching side, Nola. Nola is incredible. He's 4-0. and He's 4-0 and on a team that's 9-22. and He's like the 19, what was it, 1972 Steve Carlton? Um, 1977, something like that. But um, anyway, he, um, yeah, he, he's uh, got a 154 earned run average, and he's struck out 58 guys in 46 innings. Dude is incredible. Has a complete game, too. Um, but 
you know, we need more guys. Like, he stops our losing streaks, but that's like, those are the times we win. I mean, we, we have nine wins, and he has four of them. So, I mean, that's all you really need to know on that. So, uh, that is where we are on that. I'll take a quick look at... Um, We'll take a quick look at the, uh, you know, where the bat, the teams are batting, um, and let's do na- let's just narrow it down to the National League. So we are we're moving up in, in I mean we were dead last or like second to last in hitting, and now we're moving up a little bit. We're getting a little better, and let me again move it over here. Um, we obviously don't steal a lot of bases. We got two, and so does Cincinnati, um, and then the Dodgers have seven. But, yeah, we're not big on the stolen base category. But in the pitching department, we are, well, we're also like kind of, what is that, maybe just below the middle of the pack. So we're moving up a little bit, and hopefully, you know, with the roles getting better as they seem to be, um, we will uh, we'll start to move up in the standings. Um, remember, they were actually, the Phillies were, um, and we'll go to league stats again and look at that. The Phillies in the 60-game season were actually 28-32, and 32, so just under 500. Now, for us to get just under 500, we got to start actually winning. We're have to going to win at a you know obviously plus 500 pace. I I that might be possible though because we seem to have played a lot of good teams. Uh, we were seemed to, it seems like we were front loaded with a lot of good teams and a lot of good pitching early in our schedule. But like I say, we're playing Colorado next, and then you know the Pirates are coming up pretty soon. Uh, we play Atlanta uh, coming up pretty soon, and right now they're 14 and 19. I don't know why, because they really should be better than that. But in the game, they're 14 and 19. And uh, we haven't played the um, Nationals yet at all, and they're only just barely better than us. So, And we play the AL West, from what I can tell, and we haven't played Houston, we haven't played Seattle. So... You know, we, we do have some bad teams coming up on our schedule that um, might help out a little bit in our win-loss record. And so hopefully we were just front-loaded a little too much with that. Um, I'm not going to look at the league leaders just now, just yet, because I think um, I don't want this intro to be too long. We need to get to the game with Colorado. So, um, anyway, uh, if we look at the schedule, now we'll look at the schedule. And you can see we're on May 1st, and we are going to be uh, at home with NOLA on the mound. So, this is a prime game to win. Colorado isn't that good. And uh, we've got our ace on the mound, and he's going up against uh, Herman Mar- Marquez for Colorado. So, let's uh, hope that that leads to a win and that we can go to 10 and 22 and that we can start a winning tradition here in Philadelphia because 9 and 22 looks horrible and uh, I think lately we've played better than that and so let's hope we can hang on and uh, you know claw our way back to close to 500. Now I don't have any delusions that this team is going to go to the playoffs and in fact really based on what they did in real life they wouldn't be a playoff team. But I am hoping to get up there closer to 500, somewhat close to 500, which we are not at all right now. So we will, we'll see how that goes. But let's get on with our first game against the Colorado Rockies. All right, well, let's get into this game between the Philadelphia Phillies, who are at home, and the Colorado Rockies. I'll go over the lineups as they come up. The starting pitchers, as I said, are Herman Marquez for Colorado and Aaron Nola for our homestanding Phillies. The lineup for the um, Colorado Rockies will be David Dahl leading off and playing left field, Charlie Blackman batting second, playing right, 
Trevor, I've got a story at shortstop. Arenado is the cleanup hitter playing third base. McMahon is at second base batting fifth. Uh, Daniel Murphy is the sixth batter at first base. Ramel, Ramel Trap Tapia is the DH, something like that. Kevin Pilar is batting eighth, and he's in center, and Walters is the catcher. So with all of that out of the way, we're going to get underway with this game. And the first batter is David Dahl going up against Noel. And that is a 3-8, and that's going to be a fly ball to left. So David Dahl gets a... A uh, fly ball left, F7. And then Blackman is up. Charlie Blackman gets a 5-6. And he is the left hand. He is a left-handed batter. And uh, that's going to be a... That is going to be a double. So Blackman rips a double. And Nola has allowed his first hit of the game. And that brings up Trevor Story, good hitting shortstop. And he's going to get a ground ball to the pitcher. So that goes 1-3, uh, and Dahl, or Blackman will stay at his base. And Nolan Arenado, third baseman, gets a 6-11 batting right. And that is going to be a walk. So there are two runners aboard. And that's a second base runner that Nola has allowed. Luckily, no runs yet. And the next batter is Ryan McMahon. And he gets a 6-9 batting left, and that's going to be a strikeout. So the last guy gets struck out, and we go to the bottom of the first. Nothing, nothing. The lineup today for the Phillies will be Hazley leading off and playing center field. Gregorius batting second at short. Bryce Harper will be the right fielder batting third. Bruce will be the DH. McCutcheon at left field batting fifth. Goslin will be at third base today. Terrible defensive third baseman, but I have an injury to bomb that I'm dealing with right now. And so we have to do our best to get by with that. And... Um, Segura will be at second base, batting seventh. Marchand is the catcher, and he is playing because we have injuries to both catchers. However, Real Muto is on his last day being in, being out, uh, being on the IL. And then Walker will be the ninth batter, playing first base, again, due to injuries mainly. And so we are going to have a batting against uh, Marquez. And that is going to be a 1-9. Marquez is a right-handed pitcher, and that's a strikeout. So Marquez with the K. There's one down quickly, and Gregorius, left-handed batter, and he gets a 6-6, six, six, and that will be a strikeout. And Marquez with the K, and up steps. Bryce Harper, Mr. Bryce Harper, left-handed batter, 6-3, batting left. Going to be a ground ball to second, and they go out quickly. No runs in the first. We go to the top of the second. Batter will be Daniel Murphy of Colorado. And I don't know why I left those markers out there. We don't want to do that. Uh, 110, and that is going to be a single. So Daniel Murphy is aboard. Of course, Daniel Murphy was a really good hitter. He is aboard. Nola with another hit allowed. That's the second hit he's allowed for the game. And Rimmel Tapia gets a 4-8 batting left. That's going to be a strikeout. That was right between two walks, so luckily we got the we got the right the actual right number on that. Kevin Pilar, not a very good hitter, but a great defensive uh, center fielder, gets a six-seven batting right, and that's going to be a ground ball 
to the second baseman. He is a 2E10. That is a 4. I'm going to guess that that's probably an out. And it is. And it's a ground ball double play. So it is a 4-6-3 double play. And Colorado gets nothing in the second. And we are up to bat. And, of course, take the runner off the base. And Jay Bruce is the batter. Jay Bruce, who I mentioned, having a great, great, great year. And he's got a 5-5 batting left, and that's going to be a strikeout. Marquez with the K, third strikeout. He hasn't even allowed a base runner yet. McCutcheon is out. And he gets a 4-10 batting right, and that's going to be a ground ball. Or wait a minute. That's going to be a strikeout. Strike out again. Marquez is just dealing right here. And uh, Goslin is up, and he gets a 2-8, and that is going to be a fly ball to right. So we get nothing in the second. We go to the top of the third, and Walters, the ninth batter for Colorado, is the batter. And I knew I was going to lose the dice, but it bounced my way. So, um, Walters gets a 1-7. That's going to be a fly to center. One down, and that brings us to the top of the lineup again for Colorado and David Dahl. And David Dahl gets a 2-8, and that's going to be a strikeout. Third strikeout for Nola. And Blackman's up. And Blackman gets a 4-9, batting left, and that is going to be a walk. Blackman has reached both times, once with a double, and right here with a walk. And Trevor Story. And he gets a 3-5, and that is going to be a line out to shortstop. Line out six, no runs for Colorado. We go to the bottom of the third inning. And Segura is the batter. We're looking to get something, get somebody on base for one thing. That's a strikeout. So Segura strikes out, and Marquez continues to deal here. Um, Marshan, the catcher, is up. He gets a 3-7, and uh, let's see, what is that? That is going to be a strikeout. So even he can't get, I mean, he had a pretty good card for the limited play that he had, and he couldn't even get on. And in fact, he struck out like Marquez is striking everybody out like Nolan Ryan. And Neil Walker, and you would think he'll be another victim of that, 6-9. He's a switch hitter, so he would bat left, and that is a strikeout. He struck out the side. Marquez is dealing today. So, oh, wait a minute. No, that's a double. So, yeah, my mistake. He's got a double. So, Walker does hit a double off of him, and Hazley is up. And that's going to be a 311, and that is going to be a, for a left-handed hitter, that is a single. So runners are at the corners, and now all of a sudden we do have something going against this man. Um, he's given up two hits. And Gregorius is up. And Gregorius gets a 612 batting left. Don't like that. It's a ground ball to first base. McMahon is a... Um, he is a 5E24. Let's see what we can get out of that. 15. And it's going to be on the E rating, but he is a 24. That is a 10. 24 and uh, 10 is an E1, and so a run will score. So Gregorius got on by an E3. 
Right, E3. And the run scored. And that is a run given up by Marquez, not an earned run. And Gregorius is the batter. Or no, Harper. Harper is, yeah, that was Gregorius. So Harper is the batter. And he gets a 4-5 batting left, and that is going to be a fly ball to right field. But we did get a run, so we've got a, we've got one run. We're winning one nothing. We're going to the top of the fourth. Arenado, Arenado gets a five five batting right, and that's going to be a home run. Home run for Arenado. They tie the game, just like that. Game tied. Nola gives up the hit. The home run and the run. Ryan McManus. He gets a 4 9 batting left. That is going to be a walk. So let's take these off of here. And that is a walk. Man aboard, no outs. Daniel Murphy. Daniel Murphy gets a 5 9. He is a left-handed batter. That is a strikeout. And that is the fourth strikeout for Nola. Tappy is up, and he gets a 5-5 batting left. That's going to be a double. That'll be a double. And it's only a two-base double. Has to be a two-base double. So, um, no run scores on that, but there is only, I've only got one out here, and Pilar, the batter. So, let's hope he can strike out Pilar. That is a 3-3, three, three, and that's going to be a ground ball first base C, so that's going to score the run. Um, and then that moves the runner over to third. So, he gets a... Fielder's Choice, ground out three, and that scores McMahon. And it sends Tapia over to third. And Colorado, just like that, has a two to one lead. And Walters. And Walters gets a ground ball shortstop. So he can seize out 6 3. But Colorado strikes for two. And leads two to one. Jay Bruce, our big man, Jay Bruce is up. He gets a 210, and uh, that's going to be a ground ball second base. He's out 4 3. McCutcheon is up. He gets a 6 9 batting right, and that's going to be a. Single. McCutcheon gets a single. One man on, one out. Goslin. Goslin gets a 5 9 batting right. That's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. Shortstop is for Colorado a 1, and that's a 1 E29, probably a double play. Yep, that's going to be a double play. And uh, that was a 6-4-3 DP. And no runs come in for us. We go to the top of the fifth. Top of the fifth, we're moving right along here. Losing 2-1, to one, but confident. And so we've got uh, Dahl. David Dahl is the batter here in the fifth. And he gets a 5-6 batting left. That's going to be a double. So they're all over uh, Nola. Well, I mean, I don't want to say they're all over him, but they uh, are definitely, this is not one of his better games. 
It's allowed four hits and two runs, and we've got a guy up at second, and Blackman up. And Blackman getting a 2-5, and that's going to be a single, one asterisk, so the runner can't advance, but he does go over to third. We've got runners at the corners. I'm going to play the infield back. I don't like bringing the infield in. I never like that. Trevor Story, he gets a 2-11, and that's going to be a single and knock in the run. That's a ballpark single. Ron comes in in the uh, person of Dahl, and we are going to still play for the double play here. I'm hoping for it. Arenado is up 2-7, batting against a righty. That's going to be a fly ball to center, so that at least it's an out. There is one down, um, and McMahon is the batter. And he gets a 1-8, and that's going to be a strikeout. And Daniel Murphy's up. Daniel Murphy gets a 1-7. That's a fly ball to center. So he stops the damage, but another run comes in for Colorado, and they now lead the game 3-1. to one. And we have Phil Goslin batting here. No, Segura. We have Segura batting leading off the fifth inning. That's Marquez, who has pitched quite well. 2-6, though, is going to be a walk. So Segura is aboard with a walk. And I'm going to let Marchand bat because, like I said, he has a good card. He had limited play, but he had a really good card. And a 3-8 against a righty is going to be a strikeout. So he strikes out. He's not doing well, not doing well today, that's for sure. Eighth strikeout for... Um, Marquez and Neil Walker. Neil Walker with a 411 batting left. That's going to be a fly. To, um, wait a minute. That's going to be a single. Wait a minute. Is it a. No, it isn't. It was a ballpark single and it didn't come up. So he is actually going to get a. Um, he's going to get a lot. We'll call it a line out four. And there he is. Two down. And Hazley is the batter. Man at first, two away, and that's a 3-10. And a 3-10 is going to be a ball. That will be a ballpark single that falls in. So it is a single. Runners are at first and second. And uh, with two outs and Gregorius up. And he gets a 5-9 batting left, and that will be a ground ball to the shortstop. He is a 1. That is a 1 E29. Let's see if it can be on the E rating. Um, let's see. Yep, it is. So it's that, that's we've got a chance because he's a, a 1 E29. That's a 7. And uh, that is an E1. So that is exactly what happens. Trevor Story makes an error, which loads the bases for Harper. Critical E6 there. And we've got the bases loaded for the left-handed hitting right there, Harper. He gets a 6-9 batting left, and that is going to be a double. And that's going to score two runs. And we tie the game just like that. And we have runners at second and third. And that's another two runs at score that are um, unearned uh, because the um, the E6 that Gregorius got on by the air by story could have ended the inning. And Jay Bruce, our big man, is up. He gets a 1-7, and that is going to be a strikeout. And yet another strikeout for Marquez, but he allowed the two tying runs to come in. And we have a tie game here. 
at three. Going to the top of the sixth. And the batter is Ramel Tapia. Tapia is a 4-6 batting left. That is going to be a strikeout. Sixth strikeout of the game for uh, Noah. Pilar up. Pilar gets a 2-4. That's going to be a pop out to second base. And Walters is the batter. And he gets a 4-5. And that is, he's a left-handed, a left-handed batter. And that's going to be a strikeout. Nola with the K. We go to the bottom of the sixth in a 3-3 tie game. And McCutcheon is the batter I have right here. Is McCutcheon, yep. He gets a 6-5 batting right, and that is going to be a strikeout. Excuse me. <laughs> so... Uh, Marquez blowing people away here. Goslin gets a 3-9, and that is going to be a walk. That's only the first walk issued by Marquez. Segura, and he gets a 3-7, and that's a strikeout. Marquez, I would, that's, I'd be interested to... We're going to have to take a look at how many strikeouts he actually had. Marshall is up. He gets a 6-10, and he is a switch hitter, so he would be batting a left. And that is going to be a... Um, that's going to be an out. That'll be a... Uh, let's see. That's going to be a fly ball to center. No runs, top of the seventh inning in a tie game. Both pitchers still out there. Nola dealing to Dahl, the hitter for the uh, team. And he gets a 2-3, which is going to be a triple. So Dahl rips a triple, and he's overstanding at third base. I think we're probably going to bring the infield in now. I mean, I would say that would be prudent. Blackman is up. Blackman gets a 110. And that's going to be, uh, we don't even have to think about that one. It's going to be a single double asterisk and score the run. So the infield being in had no effect, didn't even come into play. And Nola gives up another run. So it's now 4-3 uh, Colorado with Trevor Story and a man at first. And he gets a 2-4, and that is a walk. So they are, I mean, Nola's just falling apart here in the seventh. Maybe he is getting a little gassed, but he's still my best pitcher. Arenado, is the batter, gets a 6-6 batting right, and that's going to be a strikeout. Nola with the K. McMahon. McMahon is the batter, 410, batting left. That's going to be a fly ball to center. Our center fielder is a four, unfortunately, but that's a 20. 20 and four, that might actually be an out. And it is a fly ball B. So McMahon with the F8, that bring that's two outs, and Daniel Murphy up. Now, again, Daniel Murphy, good hitter. So he gets a 2-6, and that is a really good hit. That is going to be a home run, and Daniel Murphy has just probably put this game out of reach. Nola gives up a hit. One, two, three. One, two, three. And another home run. 
and Tapia is the batter with nobody on because the bases were just cleared by Daniel Murphy. And he gets a 5-4 batting left, and that is going to be a, that's going to be an out. What is that? A fly to center, and that is the final out, but it would have been nice if he had gotten that a little before the three-run home run came in. So that is going to be four runs for Colorado in the seventh, and they have a pretty big lead here. They're, they're going to let Marquez pitch into the seventh because that's not really unreasonable for a starting pitcher. And Walker is the Walker gets a 2-9, and that is a strikeout. And again, another strikeout. I really have got to look and see how many guys, guys this dude struck out. He struck out. In 224 innings, he struck out 218. All right, I guess I could go with that. I could get behind that. Uh, Hazley is a batter. He gets a 6-5 batting left. And that is going to be... Um, that's going to be a ground ball to second. Their second baseman is a 3 E41. That's a 12. I would like this if it goes into the E rating. And it is going to do that. And E41-7. And that's going to be an E. That's going to be an error. So that's an E4 by... Hazley gets on by an E4. And... I mean, but we're losing what we're losing right now, six, seven to three. So we need we need uh, four runs ourselves. Gregorius up. Not that we can't get that. Three ten is a ground ball, shortstop, double play. So now we can't get that. Uh, six four three, double play. No runs for us. We go to the top of the eighth. And we will take Nola out of the game. Nola's done. He goes seven. Uh, the book that I have on him is seven innings, um, eight hits allowed, uh, six earned runs, seven total, struck out eight, walked four, and gave up two homers along the way. So uh, let's see here. See who we're gonna bring in. Uh, I am going to bring in. Let's see here. We're gonna bring in David Phelps. No, we're gonna bring in Hale. Let's bring in David Hale. I mean, this game is out of reach. <laughs> so, David Hale will be the pitcher. And uh, Pilar is the batter in the top of the eighth. He gets a 2-11, and Hale is a righty. That is going to be a ground ball third base. 5-3, and Walters is the batter. And he gets a 3-12. That's going to be a ground ball short. 6-3. You know, I talked up... The thing is, I talked up Bruce like he was this great guy, and he was terrible this game. I wanted, you know, at least people to see him in action and see that he is really playing as well as, I, you know, the stats show that he is. That's a fly ball to left for Dahl. So, quick inning for Hale coming on and getting the Rockies out quickly. But we're in the bottom of the eighth, and we're down by four runs with Harper as the batter, and Marquez will also come out. So Marquez is only going to pitch seven. The book on him, I've got five hits allowed, only three runs, and none of them were earned, and he struck out 12 and walked one. So we will take him out of the game.
And again, not that I necessarily think I really have to take him out of the game because, you know, um, I guess in the 70s or 80s, you would still stick with him because you got a, a four-run lead and he's pitching well. Uh, they're going to bring in Carlos Estevez. So Estevez is the pitcher now. And Bryce Harper will be the batter. And he gets a 3-5, which is Estevez is a righty, so that's a that's going to be a walk. Not that we're really out of this. I mean, it's it's four runs. We can get four runs in two innings, but people, I mean, they've got to hit better than they have. And here's Bruce, the guy who really has to hit better than he has this game. He gets a 5-3, batting left, and that is going to be... Potentially, that is a home run, and there you go. There's the Bruce I was talking about. He gets a ballpark home run off of Estevez. And let's see. Yep. And Estevez allows a hit, two runs, and a home run, and now we're only down by two. And McCutcheon is and McCutcheon gets a 3-7, and that's going to be a walk. So now, all of a sudden, we really are doing quite a bit better once we got Marquez out of the game. And see, this is why. Normally, I wouldn't do that. I would not take him out, but I'm trying to play more in line with, you know, how managers really manage, and nobody lets their pitcher go past seven innings. You know, it's how it is. 1-7 for Goslin is going to be a line out to third base. So that's the first out. Line out five, Segura up. One down, one man on. He gets a 6-9 batting right, and that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. He is a one, and that is going to be a double play. So... Six four three double play, and we only get the two. We only get two of the four runs there. We are in the top of the ninth now, and um, I'm going to keep Hale out there. He pitched well last inning, and he can certainly go another one. Blackman is going to lead it off. He is a one seven, and that's going to be a fly to center. One down and story up. He gets a 3-7, and that's going to be a fly to center. So two flies to center, and Hale pitched great, which is really great because he gives us a chance to get two runs in the ninth to tie the game or three to win it. Arenado is the batter, and he gets a 4-8, and that is going to be a single. So Arenado gets the hit. That is the first hit allowed by Hale. In uh, an inning and two thirds, and he gets a 5 12 batting left, and that is going to be a ground ball to the first baseman. Of course, for us, that's terrible. He is a well, he's not that bad. 4 E5, and that's an 18. 18 and 4 at first base is going to be a ground ball C, so he's out. Ground out three. They score no runs, um, and we have our catcher coming up, and they are they are going to take Estevez out. They're going to look for a better pitcher because Estevez gave up the two runs the last inning. They're, they're not real confident that he's going to. Of course, really, this is, you know, this is the Rockies pitching staff. So they don't really have a lot of great hitters or pitchers. They're going to bring in Daniel Bard. I mean, and Daniel Bard had, he was projected as a 437 uh, pitcher, 437 ERA. And you would consider that to be pretty good on Colorado. So... Uh, Marshawn is going to lead off against him, and he gets a 2-9, and uh, Bard is a righty, so 2-9 is going to be a strikeout. 
And I don't have another catcher, so that's why I let him hit. Um, we'll write Bard in, and he gets a K. And Walker is the batter. He gets a 4-9, and he is uh, going to be batting left against Bard. And that is going to be, let's see, that is going to be a single. So Walker does get on, on board with a hit, and we're back to the top of the lineup. So maybe we can do something here. Three runs. Remember, three runs, we win the game. Two, we tie it. And Adam Hazley's the best. And he gets a 4-8 batting left, and that's going to be a walk. So we are working it. We're working the room here. And Bard, like I said, Bard is one of their better, I mean, you would have to classify him probably as the closest thing to a closer that Colorado would have had in 2020. Gregorius is up. He gets a 6-10 batting left, and that's going to be a ground ball to the third baseman. Unfortunately, that is Arenado, and he is going to be a 1-E-10. And that is a 7. I don't like that. That's probably going to be a double play that ends the game. No, that is, it's in the E rating. So, what did I say? He was an E10. I mean, it still might be. 10 on an E10, and that is a ground ball double play, and that is the game. We lose, we lose. 5 4 3 double play ends the game. And uh, yeah, we lost the game 4 6 7 to five yep that's exactly what it was and our losing ways continue inexplicably the Phillies continue to be a team that cannot win I don't know what the deal is but you saw me roll the dice and uh you know that's how it happened so that's going to be it for me sportsman z Bob Zolke signing off